All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make custom patterns inside of Fabric. So this is the repo for Fabric. I am not gonna talk about it fully because I have a video that does an introduction right up there. So you can take a look at that if you wanna see how to use the project in general. But what I wanna do is go to patterns here. And patterns are like the core of Fabric. They're essentially like all the different prompts and use cases for how to solve problems using Fabric. So I wanna show you this one here to show you how to use patterns that are already in Fabric. So I'm gonna slide over here to the terminal. And if I want to do a pattern by itself right now, we would just do like, and uh, I'm gonna say, what's the tallest tree in the world? And this should come back and say that it's Hyperion. It's in, uh, California. So that's basically showing like how to use an existing one. But a lot of people ask, okay, cool, I see all of these here, right? I see all of these patterns that are online, but what about custom patterns? Okay, so we're in the terminal here and we're just in a random directory. So the important thing to know is that your fabric patterns that run actually come off the local system right? You download them from the project, but they actually go into a local directory, which is, um, so it is config, fabric, and then patterns. And if you look inside of here, these are all the different patterns for fabric, right? So that's like how you see the overall list. Now, if you want to make custom ones, the trick is you have to just get it into here. So what I do is I create a directory called custom fabric. Um, and that's just an alias I have that takes me to this location. But inside of here, I have extra patterns. And these are not online. These are not in the repo. They're special ones. And I can use these essentially like this. Um, in fact, some of these I've already uploaded, so they're actually there. But let's just say... Um, Let's make a new one. That, that, that's kind of the whole point of this. So um, make directory, and we're gonna call this thing um, provide Latin meditation. Latin meditations quote. Sure, we'll do that. And then we're gonna go inside of there, provide and we're gonna do uh, system. Okay, and inside of here, we're gonna say identity. Uh, you are an expert in Stoic philosophy and Latin. You provide entries from artists, and aliases, public journal for meditations, special tests, other written tests, meditations in both Latin and English. All right, so steps, take the input from the user and output one of the entries in meditations in the language. And we're going to say um, output, output only in markdown. Oh, we're going to have these here. Okay, output only in markdown. All right, that's what it is. All right, so we are going, that is already there. Okay, so this is the crucial step that you have to do. You've got to um, CD out of there. And then you want to do, I have actually an alias for this. Watch this. It goes, um, uh, which up? That's going to look for the alias. So it copies from patterns and puts them in the right place, but it also puts the custom fabric patterns into the right place. So if you see that there, um, it might be in the way. So copy the entire directory. It's uh, right here the entire directory of custom fabric patterns into the actual fabric patterns. And that means I'm actually gonna run that alias, which you could just manually copy them. But now they're, they're in that directory. See, if I go to um, if I go there now, I should see that. There it is, 
provide Latin meditations right there, right? So I could do, um, there it is. Okay, so now let's use it. And you use it by doing this, echo, um, uh, root morning routines. Uh, let's try that. Fabric minus SP streaming, and then the pattern name provide Latin meditations. Quote. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. That's a lot of Latin. Okay. I love this. I absolutely love it. So we just made a custom pattern. We put it inside of there. And now we could use it by calling fabric. Now, if I submit this thing, if I upload this, um, or if someone submits a PR and I take it in, well, now it'll be available to everybody. But if you want to just make your own, you actually don't need to submit it to the Fabric project. You just need to make your own locally, copy it into your local directory, and then it doesn't get shared with anyone. So you can use this for like journal review, uh, personal stuff, business stuff. Keep in mind, it still does go to AI, the AI that you're using. So it's not completely private. But the prompt that you used, the pattern that you used, if you use this method, it's not in the repo. It's not on GitHub. So just want to show you how to do that. And uh, hopefully that helps a bunch of people who are trying to build custom patterns. See you in the next one.